and welcome back to another episode of One More Bridge to Cross, episode eight. We're so glad you're here. Today I have two special guests with me. I have Andrea and Marguerite, and they are actually joining me today to talk about what's new. So actually we are having a spirit week next week for for what? Tell us about it. Why, why are we having a spirit week next week, Andrea? We're having a spirit week to help bring some fun to National School Breakfast Week. So we're going to be celebrating each day of the week by dressing up and, and showing our spirit with some different um, different themes. We've sent out some information to you about it. Um, Monday, we'll be starting us off for Spirit Week with America Monday, which could be your patriotic gear or camouflage gear. So if you have your stars and stripes, Monday is the day to bring them out. Wear them on Monday. And then Tuesdays, turn it Tuesday. You can have some fun turning your gear inside out or backwards. You know, if you can zip up your jackets in the bath um, or something fun to that on Tuesday. And Wednesday, you get to get a little wild with animal print or just an animal theme shirt. I think I know Marguerite has a dog shirt. Maybe I'll wear my dog shirt. Does anyone else have a dog shirt? If you do, Wednesday's the day to wear it. Wednesday's the day. Thursday, you can throw back Thursday with your favorite vintage band tee, or you can dress in your favorite decade. So I don't know about you, but I might be here in my flares and tie-dye. I'll probably pull out my leather jacket from high school. And I'll probably pull out my crimper. Ah. <laughs> yes, the good old crimper. My hair crimper. Friday is Fan Day Friday, so you can wear your favorite t-shirt or hats or gear from your favorite sports team or your favorite school. So all you Chiefs fans out there, Friday is your day. Or, you know, if you're a K-State fan like me, <laughs> purple. Or like Adrian or Andrea. Guess what? We're all Wildcats. <laughs> but all this fun is to bring attention to the fact that it is National School Breakfast Week. So we will be enjoying that week at breakfast as well. Yeah, so be sure to spread the word when the kids ask you, like, why are you dressed so crazy? You can be like, hey, it's National School Breakfast Week. Did you know that? Help me celebrate by getting a breakfast today. Yep. Breakfast is great for you. That's right. So. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. Cool. I'm excited. We Send are very excited. Send us your photos. We want to see you all dressed up. We do. Yes. Um, and there might be a prize. Yeah. We still have all the photos from last year, and we hope to share them all, too. I don't think we ever shared them because we all went on an extended spring break for COVID, so we still have those from last year. We hope to share them soon. Yes. Well, would you guys like to help me in the employee showcase? Of Talk about some of our employees that filled out a survey so we can learn more about them. Sure. Our first employee is Ramona at Curtis. She's the lead there. And her favorite subject in school was music. Oh, uh, yes, music. Um, I am not musically inclined. I wonder if she's sung like through high school like in choir or if she just liked music. Maybe she like an, an instrument. instrument. Did you guys play an instrument? Not well. Um, <laughs> I played the guitar just on my own. Oh, yeah? But no. Okay. I tried the violin, like Andrea. Uh, it was not very good. Yeah. And so I took up sports. <laughs> yes. I also, yeah. But, you know, in the car, I'm very musically inclined when no one no one's yeah, can hear me. I'm really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in the shower, it might sound like Whitney Houston, but, you know. <laughs> and one of her things that she liked to do on her bucket list is to travel. Oh, that's, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. Maybe not during COVID is easy, but hey. And she loves breakfast. breakfast. All kinds of breakfast. Perfect. So lots of breakfast during National School Breakfast Week. Yeah, sure. she's going to be one go. of our big promoters. Yep. <laughs> our next employee is Tanya. She's a food service aide at Cleveland. She also wants to travel. That's on her bucket list. She wants to go to Ireland. Oh, yes. I think that's that's a great thing. I would love to go there. Same. Her favorite breakfast food is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's a good one. That is a good one. The kids like that, too. It's a favorite. And if she, when she was a child, she wanted to be a veterinarian when she grew up. That's, that's an animal. An animal lover. Yeah, she must be an animal lover. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Gail, she is a lead at Truesdale, and her favorite subject in school is home ec. I actually liked home ec. 
Oh, I love Tom The Beck. cooking, the sewing. Yeah. What was it like? You got to have all kinds of things in that yeah. class. It was better than like calculus or algebra. Oh. <laughs> I'd rather cook a recipe over math any day. <laughs> and one of the things on her bucket list is also travel. But she wants to travel without the limits of time spent. So maybe she plans to travel in her retirement. That would be a good that would be a good retirement. That would. Or like before retirement. You know, if you just wanted to like go off the grid for a month. That'd be cool too. Without the <laughs> limits of time spent, yeah. Just get an R V and never look back. Exactly. I'd be about it. Okay. And when she was a child she wanted to be a paramedic. So she could drive fast and not get a ticket. So maybe she could do that in retirement to drive her RV really fast across the country. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. She'll have to let us know how many tickets she does or doesn't get. <laughs> Keep us updated, Gail. <laughs> and um, Kristen Blondell, she's a food service aide at College Hill. She also wants to travel. I think we have a theme I here. I think, yeah, I think we do. Everyone's feeling cooped up after all of these <laughs> restrictions this year, and they want to go traveling. She wants to go see her son, who is stationed in Japan. That would be an interesting vacation. That would be pretty vacation. interesting. That sounds a, like a very long flight. Her son could show her around, it sounds like, though, maybe. Yes. Her favorite breakfast food is eggs in purgatory. I had to look that up. I had no idea. I'm what not it was. sure what that is. What is it? No, what is so it was like a tomato sauce, and I had to have sausage in it with kind of like a poached egg inside or a fried egg inside. So hmm. it's tomato sauce with eggs. It sounds good. Yeah, I'd be willing to try that. You'll I'm sure there's more to it, know. but that's what Google told me. Okay. And she, when she was a child, uh -huh. she wanted to be a teacher when she grew up, but she said a lunch lady is more fun. I agree with her. We totally agree with you 100%. And we're so glad you're a lunch lady and not a teacher so we can have you. Yep. <laughs> you can feed the kids and not do math. <laughs> Except for on your meal service record. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's all of our employees that we have. Uh, we appreciate those who filled out the survey so we could learn more about you. And uh, look forward to the survey if you're a winner this time. So we're going to go get our prizes out of our prize closet and we'll be right back. I wanted to get you juggling. Well, I can't do it when you're too much pressure. <laughs> okay, just pretend I'm not filming. Hold on, hold on. You can stop filming. I need to get these lined up. Okay. Alright, here we go. Hi, welcome back. Uh, we got our special guest here, our, our juggler in our Vanna White marker. <laughs> and let's win some prizes. Alright. All right. Don't roll it off the table. I'll do my best. No promises. We got seven. Seven. Lucky number seven. No, we gotta skip over the. Alright. Give me a break, people. <laughs> Alright. We got Sonia. Sonia got 254, which is a red cup. Sonia De La Rosa in FPC. 254. 254. Sorry. And then we got Susan Rayborn from, I don't know, it's cut off. Susan Rayborn from uh, Kelly. Kelly, sorry. She got Susan. 208, which is an orange cup. Awesome. All right. Roll one again. We have nine this time. Nine. All right, let's try this again. One, One more bridge to cross. You look so terrible. <laughs> you know, we talked about our musical talent already. The lack thereof. So oh, they shouldn't be surprised. Now you have proof. All right. David Carson from FPC. He got a notepad, 112. We also got Sherry Dyer from FPC. She got a red cup. Awesome. Red cup. What number is that? Oh. 253. And then we got Cruz Prado uh -huh. from TrueSale. And she got prize number 15, which is a uh, portable charger oh. and a koozie. Awesome. Rolling again. Nice roll. 
All right. This time we have 11. 11. All right. Move it around the board. All right, guys. One, One more bridge, bridge to cross. cross. You forgot what you were. <laughs> I think you were on uh, five. One, two, three, One, four, two, five, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Okay, what was that? Eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. Woo! Wow. This is hard work. <laughs> okay, we got Rocio Corona from FPC. She got prize number 217. Perfect. Then we got Patrice Pete over at CMA. Prize number 80. This is a grocery bag and a hot pack. Very cool. And then we got 83. Charles Moose from East. All right, he also got a bag and a hot pad from Pillsbury. Cool. Oh, we have seven. All right, lucky number seven. Seven. All right. We got Brenda Gandara. Gandara from Irving. She won a Pillsbury bag and a spatula. Perfect. And then Vicki Schumacher here at FTC. All right. So she got prize number 68, which is a t shirt and a pop socket. Very cool. Okay, we have a five. A five. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we have David Esposito from FPC. And he got prize number 30, which is wrapping paper and some pencils and uh, sunglasses. Very cool. And, and Crystal Ridge from West. She got 302 which is gloves and a manicure set. Awesome. Very cool. One last roll. Okay, better make it a good one. Keep it on the table. Oh, <laughs> I must just be getting And tired. a six. Okay, so we have 11. 11 total. Mary Hallie from FPC. She got 281. Okay. Which is a red cup. And the last prize is 179, which is a neck fan. And that is Rita Sturgeon from Southeast. Perfect. All right. Congrats to our winners this week. Don't worry if you didn't win. We got lots more prizes in our prize closet. Until then, we'll see you on our next episode of One More Bridge to Cross. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.